what is up guys it's alpha and what you're looking at right now is a dot d 3d file i converted from a dot obj file that i was able to draw in the game maker and i'm going to show you guys how to put this in your game i've also got sprinting and collisions for basic colliders and i'm going to show you how this works and we're going to open this up actually we should probably actually open up GM Model Fix first because I'm going to include that in your download. So we're going to open up my projects folder. And I'm going to show you how GM Model Fix works really fast because it is really simple. Just wait for it to load here. All right, so what you see here is a tank model, obviously, that has, you can't see any of the vertices or anything. Um, it's on a grid system, and basically this is a 3D crosshair. It's basically the same thing as your sprite editor, except it's for a 3D object and you have a Z-axis. Here is what we're going to rotate it around. That center point is where it rotates, just like a sprite crosshair. So... Now that you know that, you now know how to import your models, or somewhat, and resize them. If you guys have any more questions, uh, just let me know. I'm sorry, not resize, but, you know, rotate. I can show you guys a more in-depth tutorial on that. But, um, this is going to come with your .d3d file. But, you, I'm pretty sure there's a GM model fix tutorial around here somewhere, so... Just pop over there if you honestly don't know how to use it at all, but I'm going to show you guys how this works. So, we have this object, manifest, and this is where all our basic, very basic variables are going to set. When it's done booting, it's going to go to room demonstration, where I'm going to have a white cube room with gray fog, and a tree stump model that you saw in the video. These functions here, do not use these in Game Maker Studio. They will not work, I promise. Game Maker Studio, I believe, does not use uh, display get width or display get height. I, I tried it before, I'm, I don't think it works. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. Um, yeah, I don't believe Windows set full screen works either because the way GameMaker Studio's GUI works is completely different. But if you have GameMaker 8, this will work for you. Here's where our models are imported. Here we have global.mod stump, and we have it split between two arrays. We have 0 and 1. 0 stores the model, and 1 stores the texture. Here, um, I'm explaining you don't have to actually have arrays. It just saves memory. Um, this is just how the cursor works. Nothing special. Um, D3D viewpoint is an object. And it draws your world. It draws your view. It draws your shaders. And it, it basically draws everything. Um, I also have controls. ASDW controls and mouse look. I also have an... Uh, an X rock animation for when you walk and I also have colliders so you can walk up to stuff and collide and you'll slide against the wall because I know you guys can't find that anywhere because I dug around a lot for it and could never find it but I took care of all that stuff for you guys everything you need is in this engine except for D3D light defined point that really doesn't honestly work that well I mean not in this engine it worked in after midnight but that's because my light defined direction was set for it. You have to set light defined point and light defined direction to complement each other or else it doesn't work. What I'm probably going to do in the future is probably write my own shader for Game Maker. So we don't even have to use any of this crap, honestly. It's not even that great, but it does work. Barely. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, you're going to have to fix that if you want to use it. Which, honestly, you don't really need to. But if you do uh, take it out, your game will be very dark because you do need at least a little bit of a point light for this kind of game. Um, if you're wondering, 
the cosine and degturad uh, math that you see here is actually to control where the light is rotated because GameMaker does not actually update that. You actually have to manually do that. But here we have the floors. What it actually is is a block that I'm just drawing internally and it's the world and I turn calling to false so that way we can draw the inside of the cube as the world. Um, the shaders kind of hit it awkwardly because shaders hit um, cold surfaces awkwardly in Game Maker. Don't ask why I didn't make Game Maker, but all I know is what I see and it really doesn't look that great, but it does work. There is a way to fix it. I was honestly just too lazy. I just wanted to make a simple world. I didn't want to have to write four, eight lines of code for something that I could have done in one. But here we have the stump. The collider here is what you collide with. It's just a regular sprite. Um, we're use solid collisioning. This right here will make the stump pop to the front of the player so the player doesn't have to look for the object if they want to see it. It'll be right there in front of them when they start. Now, I think I'm going to wrap this up because I've pretty much covered everything. Uh, I don't think I forgot anything. You guys have a great one, and I will put the link in the description for the download of this engine. Let me know how it goes. If you have any questions, just send me a DM. I'll reply back instantly. I have a brand new YouTube channel, so it's not like I have a lot of emails to go through. So yeah, you guys have a great one, and I will see you in the next one.